Hello, thanks for joining me for another Quilting is My Therapy video update. My name is Angela Walters, your favorite quilting therapist. In this video, I'm gonna revisit a layered machine quilting technique that's not only a fun way to let your creativity shine, it's a perfect stash buster. Then I'll give you suggestions on what to do with those quilted pieces of fabric that you might or might not have laying around. In an earlier Free Motion Challenge Quilting Along video series, we explored the layered machine quilting technique. It's a great way to show off those bright, beautiful prints that you've been hoarding. I mean, collecting all these years. It's as easy as layering three fabrics together, machine quilting on top of it, and cutting away the layers to reveal a beautiful masterpiece. In the video series, I'll touch on how to do the technique, and then we'll even touch on a little bit of fabric collage as we add more fabric to the top of our layered quilted piece. Of course, I love picking out fabric as much as any quilter, so I've pulled together four different layered quilting fabric kits, as well as some optional thread colors. You know, just in case you don't have enough fabric in your stash. But once you're finished, there's so many things you can do with your beautiful layered quilting piece, as well as any quilt sandwiches that you might have laying around. Practice pieces from other challenges, perhaps? If the quilted piece is large enough and you're pretty thrilled with how it turned out, a tote bag is the perfect project. The layers of batting and fabric will make it extra sturdy and able to hold all your special goodies. Becky, my resident bag making expert, took this quilted sample from the video series and turned it into this gorgeous tote bag. She said it was a perfect amount of fabric for a perfect size tote bag. Now I know there's a lot of free tutorials out there on the internet, but Becky took step-by-step -step pictures and made an instructional PDF that you can download if you want to make one like this. Or you could cut up your bigger quilted piece into smaller pieces and make adorable zippered pouches. You could make nested clam up bags. I mean, how cute is it, the little bitty zippered bags? And can you imagine how adorable it would look with a layered quilting on it? The best thing, if there's a part of the quilting that you don't love, you can cut it out and not use it. So definitely zippered pouches, nested ones like the clam up bag pattern are fun. The sew together bag is another great option. I actually made this one by quilting the outside fabric. Again, can you imagine how neat it would look with the layered quilting effect? It does have little pouches on the inside. It looks intimidating, but don't let it scare you. It's actually not that hard. I mean, I made this one and if I can make it, then you definitely can do it too. And this is just the beginning. You could use your quilted pieces to make a vinyl organizer, a wine bottle holder, and more. Since we're spending a lot of time at home, you might have been looking around your house and thinking about sprucing up your decor. If that's the case, you could take your quilted sample and bind it and use it as a table runner, placemat, or turn it into a pillow. Talk about a statement piece. I mean, I'm no Martha Stewart, but I think that looks awesome. Or use your layered quilting piece as the perfect backdrop to show off all your enamel pins. Cut out your favorite part, bind it, hang it on the wall, then add those beautiful pins that you've been collecting. Use the bigger pins to hide any imperfect quilting. I'm just saying. So whether you have fabric in your stash that you wanna turn into a layered piece of art, or you wanna give a new technique a try, be sure to check out the video series. It's free and it's fun. For links to the videos and all the featured products, just check out the description box below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back next week with another video update. Until then, stay safe and happy quilting.